This child in Malawi is testing out a new technology. Perfect. It's a breath test for malaria, and its developers say it will offer a cost-effective alternative to blood sampling. So we really envision this working just like like a breathalyzer test when you get pulled over for drunk driving. So, you know, this would be a durable device that would be appropriate for the resource-limited field settings that it would be used in and would not require a trained observer or trained uh, personnel to actually use the device. It turns out that the malaria parasite has a distinct smell, thanks to chemical compounds called terpenes. Those kind of compounds, when they're in the blood, can actually get into the lungs and out in the, the gas that you exhale. So we think that the breath of children with malaria will actually have parasite compounds on them that we can detect. In a pilot study in Malawi, scientists were able to detect and diagnose malaria with 100% accuracy in the exhaled breath of children. Malaria kills an estimated half a million people every year, most of those children under five in sub-Saharan Africa. So we are giving almost 300 million doses of malaria treatment every year, and we don't even know whether we're giving them to the right people. And that's a really expensive thing to be doing, and it's not the right thing to be doing. You know, we want to judiciously use antimicrobials and antimalarials only in the people who actually need them. A second field trial is scheduled for next fall.